All right, Sunday morning. Today is the day that I start working on the samba for the trip. Let's do this. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Bruce drive this time. He let Bruce drive? Look at my boys. Yeah, good boys, good boys. Oh, there we go. There we go. What do I want? I want. All right, I'm here to get some wood to put on the uh, trailer. Right, guys, so I'm gonna start working on the battery, but before that, I want you guys to meet Ryan. Here's one of our subscribers. Say hi to everyone, Ryan. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah, so he starstruck. Came, <laughs> he kind of came to visit us, and you know, today we're here at the shop. We're gonna start working on the samba to do that trailer. Cash, say hi to everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this thing turns out. The rain. Oh yeah, here. yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna hard. be this week. Cool. It's got to be within the next four days because we're out of here. Come Thursday. All right now, time to get serious. That was Ryan. It was fun. He, uh, it's fun to see. He's a subscriber. You know, it's cool to meet new people that are interested in doing sort of this stuff. But now, I gotta get, I gotta get going. I gotta make this this trailer. Here's part of the trailer, but it doesn't look the way I want it to look. So I'm gonna change it. Let's do this. All right, it's coming along. Here's the trailer. It's, uh, it's taking longer than I thought, but I think from here on it's gonna start moving quicker. All right, let's keep going. guys it is midnight on Sunday well it's Monday morning I guess um, I got the trailer done uh, here are the problems as soon as I say I'm done I look at it and there's something off you see this line here okay this line right here that's the center line of the trailer and do you see where that red thing is coming out that post going yeah it's off <laughs> it's right on the line i need to move it about an inch this way i will have to do that tomorrow the the reason it's not that i measure wrong the reason is that i never measure i never measure this way i measured center line this way because this originally was going to go this way but then that was some problems over here with the fenders not you know, not being able to go on. I don't know. Then I decided to change it this way, the long way. And I didn't realize that that center post was not centered because it didn't need to be centered. I had measured it differently for, for the brace this way. Anyways, didn't notice it until right now. I'm like, all right, I'm done. Oh, wait a minute, look, it's kind of weird. Anyways, that's number one. Issue number two, this is a two inch ball this is for a one and seven eighths ball so this doesn't go here i order another one tonight it's gonna be it's gonna come in tomorrow and then we'll be able to change that put it in here so it attaches then i'll adjust the uh i'll adjust the uh the length of these chains um i'll have to put a a cable for the lights on this thing tomorrow and then i start working on the batteries what's gonna happen here these eight modules the ones that are on here on the samba are coming off the samba 
they're going in here. Then I'm adding an extra six modules that I'm going to take off of the other project that we have here. That is going to be a total of 14 modules. It's going to be 42 kilowatts here on the trailer, plus another 20 on the Samba. It's going to be a total of 62 kilowatt hours for what I believe is going to be 200 plus mile range on my Samba for the strip. It's going to be pretty cool. This, that's more battery than I, uh, I don't know, any DIY vehicle have. I don't know of any other vehicle that's got 60 kilowatt, 62 kilowatt hours. That's crazy. That's like a, that's like a Model S. Crazy. Anyways, um, I don't, I realize that I don't have any connectors big enough to connect the 42 kilowatt hour pack into my Samba. So. I'm, I do have these connectors from the smart car. I have two of them. And so I'm going to make an extension. Uh, I'm going to use this one in here to connect them. They look kind of small, but these are not going to be supplying the entire amount of energy, the, whole, the entire load. The 20 kilowatts of lithium iron phosphate battery on the Samba can handle the 650 amp, power, uh, amp load that the motor can put. So um, this is only going to be supplying, I don't know, theoretically half of the load, maybe less than half of the load. So we should only expect about 200 amps on these connectors. I believe, I don't think they are rated for 200 amps. I think they're lower than that, but I think they'll handle it. I mean, look at them. They're, they're pretty beefy, right? And if not, well, then I guess we will find out how much, uh, how much load these guys can handle. Um, anyways, that's going to be for tomorrow. That's it. It's midnight. I got to go home. I got to go sleep. I actually got to go edit this video so that we can upload it, give you guys an update. And then tomorrow, I start working on the battery. I don't know what I'm going to do here. All, all, I have, all I have so far is battery modules and a cable going into my Samba. I don't know if I'm just gonna cover it with some, you know, blankets. I don't know if I'm gonna like maybe uh, attach some walls in here and then a top with like a hinge. Uh, I'm gonna concentrate on the technical stuff. And then if there is time, then I'll deal uh, with the aesthetic side of this thing. It would be cool if we could make this kind of look more like the Samba, kind of old, you know, kind of stuff. But that's not the prime objective here. So, see you guys tomorrow. All right, thank you for watching. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also think about becoming our patron by following the Patreon link. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. All right guys, see you guys tomorrow.